the International Space Station is approaching its retirement. But where do you send a large structure that weighs more than 400 tons and is the size of a football pitch to its retirement? For satellites that are in a high orbit, it is much cheaper to send them even further. The story is different for the space station that is in low orbit. The smaller objects in low orbit burn up during the re-entry to the Earth atmosphere, but the larger ones are crash-landed. The question is where to crash-land such a huge structure to pose the least risk to humans and animal life? The answer is to do it in the middle of nowhere, where it is called Point Nemo. It is the furthest point from any land in the middle of the South Pacific Ocean. It is so far from any landmass that it is actually closer to those astronauts aboard the space station. Point Nemo has been the space graveyard for many years. So far, space agencies have ditched more than 260 spacecrafts and stations there, including the Soviet space station Mir and six Salyut stations. And soon, the International Space Station will join the party. Crash landing has its own challenges. A big risk in such an operation is uncontrolled re-entry of metal chunks detached from rockets or spacecraft. There have been a few major cases of uncontrolled re-entry. The most recent one happened in 2021, when the core stage of a Chinese Long March 5B rocket with a weight of 23 tons had an uncontrolled re-entry. This 33-meter rocket eventually landed near Maldives. The largest object that ever had an uncontrolled re-entry is NASA's Skylab space station that with a weight of 77 tons disintegrated during re-entry operation in 1979 and spread debris across the Indian Ocean and Western Australia.